Steve, there's a few ways to describe that result, but heartbreaking is probably the most obvious way. Yeah, there's a lot of tears in the dressing room. Um, we thought, you know, we were in a good position. We were in a good position, and um, we just let it slip. Uh, but even then we showed some resilience at, at 4-3 that we had a chance to we hit the post and could have sealed it a few minutes from the end. But I suppose if you're honest, if you concede five goals in a game, you're going to struggle to win it. That instant you're referring to where Pat hit the post, Musa saw a shot saved and then they cleared it off the line, it just shows how fine the margins can be in the game. Yeah, well it is, isn't it? And, um, you know, we showed character like we always do in that situation. Once that didn't go in, I thought, let's just get to extra time and we'll settle down and we'll start again. Um, unfortunately it wasn't to be. You know, I applaud Chelsea because they've been a good side over the two legs and um, you know they had their backs to the wall and kept coming. It was an absolutely frenetic cup time. I mean, I'm sure the neutrals enjoyed it, but what was your take on it? Um, I'd like the defending as a team to be better and that's not blaming my defenders and my goalkeepers because they're putting some good performances. Um, it was youth football. You know, you get some weird results. There's a lot of very, very good attacking players on the pitch. And um, they came to the fore tonight and showed for both teams. We had several thousand Fulham fans here tonight. They're in good voice all the way through. And it's, it's great to see that support for our youth team. I mean, they were fantastic. You know, from the I thought we were actually at home for a lot of the, the game. And I really wish we could have given them something. You know, what's been a difficult season for them? It would have been lovely we could have sent them home tonight happy with something to cheer about. I do hope they go home thinking, well, we've seen some talent. You know, there's, there's some boys out there that will feature in the first team next year and go on to have some fantastic careers. And um, we're in a good position moving forward. Unfortunately, we haven't got our hands on the cup. Sure, and obviously a lot's been made of the likes of Pat and Musa who have made their first team debuts, but anyone who was here tonight would have seen that there's an abundance of players with loads of talent. Yeah, both teams have got probably have got the best crop of players in the country, if I'm honest. If I look at um, what Chelsea and what we've got, um, so there's a there's a lot of talent on show, and uh, what you normally find from finals like this, you'll look down the line in six or seven years, and people will say, "Oh, I remember watching him in the FA Youth Cup final." Um, I'm proud of them, as, as, as disappointed as I am, uh, over a two year period they've been absolutely fantastic and um, we'll go home, we'll lick our wounds, shed our tears and we'll come into work tomorrow and we'll set about what ultimately the goal is for them, is to make sure that they all have good careers. You said there are a few tears in the dressing room, you also said you were proud of them, how do you pick them up because they, they can be very pleased with what they've done this campaign? Um, the footballers and they've got um, we've got a lot of personality in that dressing room so they will like I say tonight's that night for for all your your aches your pains and your tears and then tomorrow it's get on with it and um, as I said before the FA Youth Cup was the second goal for the season the first one was to get people in the first team you know and, and to have put them on the road to having good careers would have loved to have won it make no secrets of that you know we set out to try and win it um, and it's an elusive trophy to try and get um, just fell second best thank you, Tom. pleasure thank you thank you mate. Cheers.